Are you tired of rising costs, long lead times, and not knowing who actually owns your injection mold overseas? You're not alone. More companies than ever are reshoring their injection molding to the US. And at Universal Plastic Mold, we make that transition easy, fast, and transparent. I'm Jason Dowling, president of UPM. In this video, I will explain the complications, considerations, benefits, and how to reshore your project in the best possible way to ensure the transition is smooth. Stay to the end of the video to hear how to download a tool to make this process even easier. Step one, share your part files. The first step is simple. Send us your part drawings, CAD files, and information about volumes, materials, and tolerances. We also recommend having an NDA in place before sharing any proprietary information, and we're happy to sign one. At UPM, we are 100% contract manufacturing. We don't have any proprietary products of our own. We're solely focused on producing parts for our customers. That means we have zero interest in competing with you or using your designs in any way. Your IP is safe with us, and we treat every project with respect and confidentiality. Step two, tooling evaluation. Already have a mold? We'll start with a full evaluation, checking whether it can be reused, adapted to our machines, or if a new mold would be more cost effective. But first, we ask a critical question. Do you actually own your tooling? Many non-US molders don't break out tooling costs. They absorb it into the part price and retain ownership. That gives them control and can make moving the mold expensive, difficult, or even impossible. In some cases, the customer doesn't own a full mold at all, just the inserts that fit into a proprietary mold base. At UPM, we're very transparent. You pay for the mold, you own it. As a best practice, we also recommend that every company keep a detailed tooling asset list with mold numbers, dimensions, materials, and photos. If you already have this documentation, sharing it with us helps speed up our evaluation and gives us a much clearer picture of how to support your transition. Step three, build a transition plan. Next, we build a detailed transition plan that lays out everything cost estimates, lead times, critical milestones, and contingency steps if something unexpected pops up. You'll get full visibility, no surprises. And if you need to phase the transition in stages, we can do that too. Step four, sampling and validation. Before we go into production, we run test shots and send you samples. This is where we dial in the processing parameters, make adjustments if needed, and confirm that the parts meet your exact specs for form, fit, and function. And we don't just do this behind the scenes. We're a very open door company. We invite you and your team to come out to our California facility, walk the floor, and meet the team, and be part of the sampling and approval process firsthand. There's nothing like seeing your mold run for the first time right here in the US. Step five, domestic production at UPM. With approval in hand, we move into full production at our California facility. You'll get faster lead times, no tariffs, lower minimum order quantities, and improved cash flow. We can also support warehousing, assembly, and just-in-time delivery to keep your operations lean and responsive. Thanks for sticking around at the end of the video. If you would do us a huge favor, please like and subscribe so more folks can learn about how to bring manufacturing back to the US in the description below, there's a link to a free asset tracking spreadsheet. We highly recommend all companies gather the details of their tooling along with photos for their records. We really appreciate your time today and hope you have a fantastic week.